Well, hi and welcome to today's short video, where today I'm gonna to give you a five minute plan for your art business. Now, I bet that you either know that you need a business plan or you've started one and never really completed it because quite honestly, it seemed like a really large onerous task and you thought to yourself, I don't need that. I just need to forge forwards and I'll work it all out as I go along. If you'd like something a bit more in depth, then check out this video for the seven simple steps of the artist business plan for 2022, or quite honestly, any year whenever you're watching this, because that really takes you through the steps that you need for a complete business plan. But today, I want to give you something that you could just put together in just a few simple minutes. Well, hello and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie, and I love to help artists set up and grow a successful profitable business doing what they love. Now, if that's you, then you're in the right place because this channel delivers all things art business and mindset business related as well. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. All right, so I hope you have got a notebook and some pens or even just a pen. I do love my multicolored pens for making notes. Grab yourself a notebook and pen and let's just go through five simple questions and you can answer each of these questions in one minute and you have something to start out with. All right, are you ready? Question one, how much money do you want to make in the next 12 months? Pretty simple, right? I always, when I'm teaching, I use the example of $24,000 because it's divisible many things um, and it makes my maths pretty simple. So you might say, $24,000, 48, 50, 100, whatever it is, write it down. All right, so we've got ahead. Question number two, what's the average price point of your artwork or your art services? So you might say, okay, I've got artwork priced from, I don't know, $100 to $5,000. So I'm gonna say it's 2,000, 2,500. Write it down and we're moving on, we're doing well, all right. Question number three, if you just sold that one price point item, how many would you need to sell in order to hit your annual target? You see where I'm going with this, all right? So you take that annual target, you divide it by that average price. If it's 2,000 or 2,500, it gives you a number. Question number four, a little bit more complicated, but I think you can do it, and I am confident you can write the basics down in one minute. Who are your target audience? Now, if you really are a total beginner and you're like, Sophie, I haven't got a clue, check out this video here because it gives you a bit of a starter into who exactly your target audience are. But for the moment, even if you just wrote down, typically females age between this, this age and this age, living in this place, um, who love the following things, what's important to them, you can have a, have a stab in a minute, I promise you. And if you've only taken a few seconds to answer those other questions, yeah, you may have a little bit of bonus time for question number four, right? Question number five, how will you get your artwork in front of them? What do we mean by that? Marketing. You might say, okay, primarily, I'm gonna do videos on YouTube. Primarily, I'm gonna pin on Pinterest. Primarily, I'm gonna do PR and get in lo lots of local magazines. You know, you're just gonna write down the core things that you're gonna do to get your work or services in front of that audience. Now, like I said, that is a really basic plan, but that's really what's underneath a business plan. That's the core fundamentals. That's give you some money. That gives you some idea of who your audience is, what you're selling, price point. So if you've, if you've never done a business plan before and you'd like to do my five minute challenge, please let me know you're doing it in the comments below and say, okay, put a timer on, get your notebook out, get a pen, just go through those questions and make it really easy. Don't overthink it. Just say, okay, it's this amount of money. This is the average price point of what I'm gonna charge. Therefore, I need to sell this many. These are the ideal people that I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it via this strategy. And it gives you something to work with. Like I say, it doesn't give you everything, but it gives you a starting point. If you'd like a little bit more help with this journey towards making a living from your art, then you'll want to grab my free download. There's a link below here, the 10 things you need to be doing to make a living from your art. And you're gonna be not surprised at one of those things, all right? You'll be saying, ah, okay, I think I've heard Sophie mention this before. If you're also thinking about, well, okay, part of this is I'm not really sure how to price my artwork either, then you also wanna make sure to get registered on my brand new free masterclass, the foolproof formula to pricing your artwork. Grab yourself a seat on that. And even if you can't make the live dates, register for one of them anyway, because you will get the replay, okay? 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you're up for the challenge. Like I say, let me know if you're doing it or you've done it in the comments below and I'll see you on another video.